Hey guys, this is Nathan from Call Across the Sky, and uh, I want to talk to you about this Tender Octaver that I just got. Um, so I'm a broke college student, and ain't nobody got money for uh, Micropog. So I heard that this was one of the better alternatives, so let me just go through the functions. So you have a volume knob for your sub and your upper octaves, as well as a dry and wet knob. Um, so first let me just give you my clean signal. I'm running through um, a Daffin volume pedal. Well, my signal chain is uh, my Agile 7 string, Scepter. Um, I got a Daffin volume pedal, a Tender Octaver, a Strymon Blue Sky to a Line 6 uh, Spider 3. And here's my clean signal. Okay, let's try it with the tender octaver. Oh wow, that's that's really cool. Actually, I, I don't have the sub all the way up. Let's try it with the sub all the way up. That's actually really cool. Hold on, let's try it. Let's try fully wet. Oh, that's really cool. Actually, let's try just upper. Let's try it with just sub. That's really cool. So actually, okay, I think. Oh, okay. This is fully wet. Sorry, I'm used to I'm used to a mixed knob, not a dry knob. Um, actually, yeah, let's try it with just the bass to see how it sounds. That's really cool. Let's try just upper now. That's really surreal. Okay, let's try both. Wow, that's that's pretty killer. Um, I actually didn't. Uh, so Moor actually has another Octaver, and I heard demo videos, and they were just atrocious. Um, like the higher octave sound, like it was really shrill and like really out of tune, but this actually, it sounds great. Like, like I literally just got this like 30 minutes ago. I haven't touched it until now. So it's my, I'm hearing it for the first time as well. Um, let's see how it sounds with like a swell. So I'll probably do just a normal with a room reverb. See if I could do a little mini pad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then play some stuff over it. That's that's really killer. Let's see how it sounds fully wet. Actually, let's see see if we could do a pad that's like fully wet. 
business on this wall, but it's still, it's still good to know that you could do that. Just a little bit down so it's less bright. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. That's so cool. Wow, that yeah, that's that's killer. I, I'm really loving that. You can get some pretty funky sounds, hold up. Actually, let's see how it sounds with the slide. That'd be really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, wait, let's see if we can get some, like, cello-y sounds. Wow, that's, that's really cool. Wait. I'm going to go grab a pick and s let's see if I could get some funky stuff playing. Oh, okay. Okay, let's put it about noon. Let's put the upper about at noon as well. The, the sub octave is going to be all the way up. Let's turn this off. Sounds like if I play chords. It's cool. It sounds kind of muddy, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Huh, that's interesting. I think I'd really like it for swells, though. Yeah. This is really attractive because... It's really attractive because I actually... I'm interning at a church where there's basically no worship band. With, um, where they have, like, um, a lot of lack of instruments. So there's actually no person that plays bass, so... If I use this, I can get some groovy guitar and bass lines at the same time. Let's, uh, let's try upper at noon again. Yeah, wow, like, I, I was kind of dubious because I actually got this pedal for like, like 60 or $70, um, and, like, I heard it was good, but I was kind of, I was a little bit doubtful because the other Octaver that Moore put out was just horrendous, it sounded awful, but I heard really good, really good reviews about the Tender Octaver, and I'm really not disappointed, like, I mean, like, I mean, if you have more money to spend on a uh, walrus luminary or like a, like a micropog, I mean, go for it. But this is pretty good. I mean, like, I mean, like I got, I got this one really cheap uh, off of reverb.com, but, um, it was about $60 or so. Um, I'm sure it's not, you you won't find as good of a deal, but I'm pretty sure you could get them for fairly cheap. <laughs> Let's try the actually let's try a shimmer so basically for those of you who don't know what a shimmer reverb is uh you take your reverb single signal you add like an octave higher and an octave lower so let's see if we could get some like crazy organ sounds here it's, it's cool i'm not sure if i like that but it's interesting for sure
interesting. Um, let's see if we. Well, how does it sound with modulated reverb? Just the more plain. Not sure if I would use it in a chord setting. Well, maybe maybe if it's like a like a swell, but I, w I wouldn't play like I wouldn't like use it in like a worship setting or like a tri like a rhythm section. But it's definitely super cool for leads. Um, let's see if I c what it sounds like really subtle though. That's gonna be cool. I think I like that a little better. Just actually, let's put the upper a little bit up. Let's say about at three. Yeah, when it's more subtle, it feels a lot more orchestral. Let's put it about like at like two.